No matter where you live or what you do for a living, it's important you always stay on the lookout. If you don't, you might miss out on discoveries like this. Without even knowing, you might find treasure in your home. Secret rooms underneath it. $187. Wow, $187? <laughs> yeah. Or you could even find an entire ancient city in your backyard. And let's not forget, you can find gold or priceless art and even a piece of history. Anything is possible. Sometimes the journey is just as valuable too. But remember, you won't find it unless you're looking, right? Your curiosity has led you right where you need to be. Here are 15 super lucky people who looked in the right place, part two. Number 15. Workers find gold vault. These workers could not contain their excitement from finding a treasure of a lifetime. Stories about treasures being kept in a vault or a lockbox, buried deep under the ground of a house, somewhere nobody knows about except maybe you. As it turns out, it can happen. Just ask these guys. But if you know anything about vaults or safes, they're almost always extremely heavy. These gents wasted no time, however. They tried to hit the locks of the vault with a sledgehammer, but no luck. They then tried to open the upper part of the vault with a circular saw. Nope. It took several hits before they managed to create a small opening for a hand to fit in and try to see what the contents of the vault were. But eventually, with some rigorous smashing with a big hammer, they managed to get inside. On the upper part of the vault's interior, they were able to retrieve paper bills which were kept in bundles. They, upon going deeper into the contents of the vault, were able to find a gold bar. And even better, several more gold bars were also pulled out from inside. And the workers are absolutely gobsmacked. Do they get to keep it? Whose property is it anyways? You worked hard for that one, fellas. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. The archaeologist Matthew Sterling found this first Olmec head in 1938. We can't imagine what it would be like stumbling across this in a walk through the jungle. The Olmec colossal heads are stone representations of human heads sculpted from large basalt boulders ranging in height up to 12 feet tall. The heads date from at least 900 BC and are a distinctive sacred artifact of the Olmec civilization of ancient Mesoamerica. Plus, they're awesome. Couldn't you see that sitting in your home spa or as a garden feature in your backyard? To this lucky archaeologist though, and to modern civilization, this big head is a big deal. And he probably didn't just stumble upon it, he looked in the right place and uncovered an absolutely beautiful and culturally ultra-relevant artifact. What have you found in what you thought was the right place? Treasure? Tragedy? Or simply nada? There's a story there at least. You've got to share it with us in the comments down below using the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. The Secret Bank Vault. For many years, this was the residence of the Quail family. The oldest part of the house dates from the early 18th century, but its current elongated structure dates from 1809 when the famous eccentric George Quail, hearing that expansions nearby were being planned, built an extension of his own. But what was found inside? A treasure hunter's dream. A very secret, very secure bank vault. On the first floor, in what now looks like an office, there's a door in the back corner that opens to another door. And behind it, you guessed it, it's an entry leading us to a world without windows and only trap doors with narrow stairways down into the secret vault. Nobody was going to get inside here as it was constructed with extreme care and concern for security. Once you get through the first trap doors, there's more. And George Quayle spared no expense to achieve the ultimate vault. The crazy thing is he designed it right down to the elaborate locking weight and pulley system. He was an inventor after all. Quayle's vault stayed more or locked and unused until the 1940s and has remained in outstanding condition with all its working parts. And although there's no secret stash or gold or stacks of dollar bills, the real treasure is the bank vault, a testament to inventor George Quayle's imagination. Number 13. HVAC workers find gold dust. Workers installing some equipment found a secret stash hidden away in the house in California. Then how was your day on the job? After hundreds and hundreds of installations, the jackpot discovery was one of a kind. Gold! More specifically, 12 baby food jars full of gold dust. As the Sacramento homeowners called for what was going to be an expensive new heating and air system but ended up striking gold. 
The total cost of the HVAC installation? Around $6,500. The total value of what they found was $300,000 worth of gold. Where the gold came from is still a mystery. Just like any other workday, the workers were probably not looking for treasure, but sure enough, that's what they found. The workers from a heating, ventilation, and air conditioning company found the gold beneath the floor grid of the old house. Shocked handyman on the scene, Steve Otley said, I still can't believe it. It's unreal. We kind of just looked at each other and said, wow. And so are we. Of course, the gold dust was handed over to the current owners of the house. Ultimately, that was the right thing to do, but we're pretty sure everyone involved in the moment thought, should I keep this? Who wouldn't? We all want to find some treasure. Number 12. Treasure Hunter Finds Family Hall This guy helped a Massachusetts family find a $46,000 trove of cash hidden under the floorboards in their home. Keith Weil was hired by the family to find a cash box that their grandfather was rumored to have tucked away somewhere in the house. And inside, he calls himself a metal detectorist, treasure hunter, and get this, a you lost something I find it artist. He's the perfect person for the job. Previously, the family had tried to find the supposed stash for years and even hired a construction contractor to pull up some of the floorboards in the home's attic to find it. Plus, they had to find it before they sold the house. It isn't clear why the grandfather hid the cash box, but they had already been found in other homes owned by the family. So why not have a good look, right? But it only took Keith about an hour to find that hidden treasure, reopening spots that had already been pulled up by others who had already searched for the treasure. And there it was, found in a corner of the attic, obscured by other pieces of wood, serving as a false bottom underneath the floorboards. The metal detector wizard pried the delicate locking mechanism open and the family was there to witness the big reveal. The Connecticut-based treasure hunter called it his most exciting find to date. Number 11. Guy Finds Secret Bunker In England, this very lucky person was having his Middlesbrough home renovated when he decided to investigate what he thought was a drain cover. A hidden World War II bunker was discovered under the back garden of his house. They might not have found it unless his builder suggested having a look at what was under the cover. They opened it up and saw a 10-foot metal ladder leading down into the darkness. The drain cover was the entrance to a concrete-lined two-room bunker, big enough for more than 50 people. Booyah! If you didn't know, these reinforced underground shelters were typically for use in wartime, or during extreme natural disasters, or problematic weather. Just imagine what the owner of this property could do with this kind of space today. Oh, the things we could do. Ultimate man cave, personal fitness studio, maybe a swimming pool. The bunker was partially filled with water, but after it was drained, two rooms were revealed, which was separated by a wooden door. The married father of one, 40, said he plans to turn the bunker into a wine cellar or an office. It really couldn't be better suited, something cool for friends and family to enjoy. Number 10. Stolen Picasso Found Again A Picasso painting stolen from Greece's National Gallery has been found hidden in a ravine nearly a decade after it vanished. Can you believe that? A priceless work of art? A plastic-wrapped Picasso in a ravine? The painting, called Head of a Woman and gifted by Pablo Picasso to Greece in 1949, was recovered in a rural area some 28 miles southeast of Athens. The painting, which was personally donated by the Spanish art master to the Greek people, was stolen in the heist in 2012 at Greece's National Gallery. They were found in a ravine, covered in plastic for protection and hidden beneath some dense and dry shrubbery in a riverbed. Keep in mind, it's a Picasso! Until now, the art thief had evaded officials, but after being arrested, he later confessed. The break-in saw security distracted by alarms that were set off throughout the night until he disabled the system. He then went to check one part of the system while the burglar slipped in through an unlocked balcony door elsewhere. The heist at the National Gallery, Greece's largest state art collection, lasted just seven minutes. The fuss it stirred up lasted much longer. Another expensive painting called Stammer Windmill was also found with a Picasso. Number 9. The Masquerade Hair Mystery This unique hunt and its whimsical buried treasure was no work of fiction. In 1979, artist Kit Williams published Masquerade, a storybook decorated with paintings that held clues that would lead whomever to an 18-karat golden hair. Sounds fun, right? A phenomenon at the time, the book sold like hotcakes and sparked a worldwide hunt for the golden rabbit. 
who could solve the clues hidden within its pages. The lucky reader would be led to this location by unearthing the complex clues in the book's paintings. However, this was no easy feat. The painting's detail was very intense. It allowed for many interpretations and theories. However, in March of 1982, Williams received a letter and sketch from a man called Dugald Thompson, which he acknowledged as the first correct solution to the puzzle, meaning that Thompson had won the contest. It was later found that Thompson had not solved the puzzle and had guessed the hare's location using insider knowledge obtained from a former acquaintance of Williams. The revelation caused a minor scandal. Two British physics teachers were later acknowledged to be the first to have correctly solved the masquerade hare mystery. Number 8. Australian Gold Motherlode The great thing about treasure is it can almost be anywhere. Even down under, this Canada-based company struck a mother load of gold in their mine in Australia. But it wasn't easy. The miners discovered rocks containing 9.25 ounces of high-grade gold at their nickel mine near Perth, bringing more than $15 million worth of gold specimens to the surface in just four days. A geologist's dream. And they weren't even looking for gold. The gold-encrusted rocks were found over a thousand feet below the surface in just an area about 10 feet by 10 feet. What are the chances? The largest specimen weighs in at almost 200 pounds and took three men to lift. It was hard work, but a celebration at the same time. A geologist at the mine says that the discovery is a once-in-a-lifetime find and of the largest gold hauls ever in Australia. After the announcement, stock in RNC Minerals rose 94.4%, and of course the company has also tightened security at the mine following the discovery. Workers are under constant surveillance and armored trucks are responsible for getting the treasure out safely. The question now is, what other treasure is waiting in this mine? We bet these miners have been excited to turn up for work ever since then. Number 7. Hidden Turkish City A long-lost underground city dating back 5,000 years was discovered in Turkey after workers went to investigate the source of flooding affecting homes there. It extends as much as 250 feet into the depths of the earth and was designed to offer shelter for roughly 20,000 people. Multi-layered, this subterranean city contained everything its people needed in times of trouble. But when the crew ventured inside, they found the underground city partially submerged in clear water. The flooded rooms of the city were found to be directly beneath the houses that had experienced the flooding. Lucky coincidence! The city is believed to stretch over three miles into the ground. Only eight levels can be accessed nowadays, and here archaeologists and researchers have stumbled on all kinds of dwellings, kitchens and separate facilities for storing food or oil and wine, bathrooms and rooms for sleeping, and it isn't every day that you knock down the walls of your house only to stumble on a strange chamber behind one, which turns out to have a secret passage that leads to an entire city below the ground. But this was indeed what happened. With its 18 levels, it's the deepest one in the entire world. This might not come as a surprise. Its name, Derinkuyu, literally means deep well. Number 6. Incredible Roman Mosaic It's amazing how fragile artifacts can stay so well preserved after being buried for hundreds, even thousands of years. An ancient Roman mosaic was uncovered near the northern Italian city of Verona. No doubt, archaeologists were astonished. The incredible mosaic floor came almost a century after the remains of a villa believed to date back to the 3rd century AD were unearthed. After the discovery in 1922, the site was mostly left abandoned until a team resumed digging only recently. And surely enough, beneath a row of vines in a local vineyard only one week into the dig, there the mosaic was. What else could be hiding in the area? Surveyors will align with the owners of the vineyard and city officials to identify the most appropriate ways to make this archaeological treasure endure, but for now, let's toast to that with a glass of wine. Authorities have pledged to continue with the excavation with close attention to preserving the Roman mosaic. The incredible fortune of these discoveries only enrich the cultural significance of Italy's history. Let's hope the vineyard benefits too. Lots of tourists looking to see the excavations can buy wine, just don't drunkenly stumble on the artifacts. Number 5. Guy Finds Secret Safe Nothing like a little homegrown mystery to unsolve, right? And it's even more special when you get to share it with your family. People have found plenty of intriguing things hidden in their homes, but wait until you see what this Boca Raton dad found. In a closet after lifting a new tile, a secret safe set into the concrete. The Florida homeowner even posted a photo on social media. 
just bought a house, found this hidden under the floor. How do I open it? He tried to guess the combination with help from his daughter. After a call to a local locksmith with the serial number identification, they were able to locate the manufacturer. And when the excited family finally cracked the safe, it was a surprise full of water. But wait, what's that shimmering at the bottom of the flooded safe? A single gold coin, actually now worth $187. Not bad for a little treasure hunting at home. It does make you wonder what might be hiding behind your very own walls or under the floor. Here's a tip, if you have any loose tiles in your house, make sure you search under each and every one of them. The payoff could be huge. Even a gold coin worth less than $200 is still a big haul. Plus, they still have a usable safe of their own. Number 4. Declaration of Independence Found in England Two very lucky researchers found a rare parchment manuscript of the Declaration of Independence long forgotten in a records office in England. Many copies were made and distributed widely following the 1776 signing on July 4th, so finding a copy of the document isn't unheard of, but finding a parchment manuscript is, and while the document is similar to the original, there are some major differences. Using handwriting analysis, spelling errors in the names and parchment preparation date the document to the 1780s. The document, which is called the Sussex Declaration, was likely produced a decade after the original Declaration of Independence. But despite the monumental discovery, there are still questions remaining like how the document got to the United Kingdom. The researchers plan to test the manuscript in hope of uncovering more information about its origins, but it's believed it was commissioned by the Supreme Court Justice, James Wilson, who later helped draft the Constitution and the document might have been owned by the third Duke of Richmond, Charles Lennox. The only other parchment manuscript like it is viewed by millions at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. each year. Number 3. Guy Finds Secret Man Cave Simon Marks, who lives in Luton, a town in England, was reversing out of his driveway when his wheel got trapped. He thought he had driven into a flower bed when the wheel got stuck in a hole outside his home. But when he got out and found that part of the driveway had caved in, he said, I thought it might be a sinkhole or a badly constructed garden. I was just terrified the whole house was going to vanish. Fortunately, this was not the case. After some investigating, the homeowner found an unusual man cave under his driveway, thought to be an air raid shelter. There are structures built and usually concealed for the protection against enemy attacks from the air. They're similar to bunkers in many regards, although they're not designed to defend against ground attack. And now this guy has his own. After a closer look, Simon realized the two-roomed, 10-foot high shelter was lying under the driveway. A very cool surprise indeed. The ladder can be seen down the hole, and with a stroke of DIY genius, he used a selfie stick to see what was down there. The shelter may have been built after a German bomb landed close to a house in the Second World War, but for sure it has to become his ultimate man cave. Number 2. Rediscovering the Ancient Kokno Stone With dozens of grooved spirals, carved indentations, geometric shapes, and mysterious patterns of many kinds, the Kokno Stone, located in Scotland, is considered to have the finest example of Bronze Age cup and ring carvings in all of Europe. The stone, which measures 42 feet by 26 feet, was first discovered in 1887. Cup and ring marks are a form of prehistoric art consisting of a concave depression, no more than a few centimeters across, carved into a rock surface and often surrounded by circles also etched into the stone. The decorations occur as a petroglyph on a natural border and outcrop and on megaliths such as the slab cysts, stone circles, and passage graves. Yet for decades, the ancient Cockno stone has laid buried beneath several feet of earth in what was thought to be a desperate attempt at the time to protect it from vandals. That was probably a good idea. They're all found all over Europe. However, similar forms have also been found throughout the world, including Mexico, Brazil, and India. Cockno stone, which is thought to date back to 3000 BC, is considered one of the best examples of Bronze Age cup and ring markings, and we can see why. Number 1. Chinese Farmer Finds Terracotta Army These figures, dating from approximately the late 3rd century BCE, before the current or common era, were discovered in 1974 by local farmers in China. And there's a whole lot of them. Thousands of life-size terracotta figures of an army prepared and ready for battle. The three pits contained an estimated 8,000 life-size terracotta figures, of which about 2,000 have been uncovered. Why would terracotta armies even exist in the first place? The figures, a mix of chariots, 
cavalry, armored soldiers, and archers were created to serve the Chinese emperor in the afterlife. Each warrior has unique features. They have different builds, expressions, and postures. The details of the warriors are so intricate and individualized that it seems like they were based on real soldiers who served in the emperor's army. And more than that, over 40,000 bronze items of weaponry have been recovered, including swords, daggers, spears, lances, battle axes, shields, crossbows, and crossbow triggers. Let the cosplay begin. The Terracotta Army is part of a much larger necropolis, constructed as a smaller version of the Emperor's Imperial Palace and covers a large area around the Royal Tomb. Ground-penetrating radar and core sampling have measured the area to be close to 38 square miles as well.